So let's talk about utilizing the connections portion and saving our audience. So within the connections, this one's fairly basic and breaks things down for us. As we can see here, this goes and targets people that have already interacted with us on Facebook. People that, as it says, who like your page or friends of people who like your page or you can also exclude people who like your page. So that comes in handy based on however you're structuring your ads, right? Now, most of the time, people that have liked your page have either already had a service from you, right? You've already taken care of them, they've already acquired a loan, or they've been referred to you by someone, things of that nature. Natures, sorry, that's kind of funny. But uh, I don't really know if, you know, this is who we really want to go for already, right? Um, we can utilize this for different types of things. Maybe we want to do something to where it's, you know, friend referral Friday. I'm not quite sure. But the thing is, we can go in here and you know, do some kind of different type of offer within our Facebook page so that they can refer a friend and maybe we can, you know, give them some kind of gift card or whatever you want to do that you feel is relative and applicable to your market. Uh, same thing goes here too. If you guys have done an event, people that have come to the event, you can target them or you can actually exclude those who already attended. So, this one is not really utilized a lot. If, it, if and when I utilize it, I like to exclude people who have liked my page. So that's just me. Now, the save the audience one really comes in handy when we're done digging through and creating our audience, right? So hypothetically, we have the Reno audience, people that are 30 to 55 years old, Let's say they speak English, if you don't define the language, it will try to push to everybody. So make sure you include that. And let's just say for the sake of this, we will say married and make the residence six years plus. And we want to exclude maybe somebody who has makes a hundred thousand dollars or less than a hundred thousand dollars, excuse me. So now this is our audience. And just so that we don't have to come through each and every time and set up and define these parameters, you know, saying the locations making sure that we're targeting the people that live in the area, the air, the radius of where we're going, the age, you know, the gender, the language, these demographics and excluding these people and saying, Hey, I don't want those people to see it either. It can get tedious. And not only that, not so much tedious, but maybe you forget something, right? Maybe you already have a campaign that's kicking butt and you're like, Hey, I want to do the same thing. We have the option to go and duplicate that campaign, but maybe you wanted to do something different, whatever it might be. I'm not quite sure as of this exact moment what it would be, but let's just say you want to start a new campaign and you want to run a video instead of running an image. So you could utilize this audience by saving this audience and name it what you choose, right? Let's say I like to know a few things when I name my audience so that when I go to look for it, I already know who it is. So let's say Reno plus 50 miles and less than, excuse me, more than 100K married six plus years home ownership. 
So now I'm going to save this, right? The next time that I want to go and define and actually utilize that specific audience, if you notice right here, it came to it dropped down and is utilizing this this uh, this saved audience. So watch this. I'm going to go. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to work actually now that I think about it. It'll pull up the same ad. That was continue. Oh, nice. Perfect. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just say we just got in here real quick. I won't name this like I normally do. I like to know what I'm doing. Being that that's a new account, when we did this in the examples, that it hasn't set the time zone, which you just seen. But as you can see, I'm going to go through here. And I guess I didn't have to select the Facebook page. Um, so I don't want to go and type all these things in again that we just went through. So what I want to do is utilize the save audience. As you can see, it's already populated here, right? It defines who I went and put into that last audience. And now all I have to do is watch the people over here. Watch it. It's going to drop, set. And that's it, right? It already put the people in there. It shows you right here, once again, if you're unsure what it was. And also that, let's just say that you maybe wanted to make a change, right? You're like, hey, uh, I wanna expand my options here a little bit. I like this audience and what I got going on, but maybe I want to remove married and let's just say I want to define, make sure that we're going for homeowners. So let me do something real quick. If I just remove the six plus years, let's see what it defines that as. So yeah, see, so if we just did that, here's the difference, folks. You go through in here and it shows homeowners, right? We're saying people that own homes. Okay, perfect. Well, there's 44,000. Well, I want those with six years of length of residence and home ownership, 15,000. Let me remove this one, see if that changes. Let me just fill it in that first box. So that was 20,000. See, so it, you would assume, right, that this would define already who it is. So I'm not saying that this is not an accurate uh, equation of, you know, who we e essentially we're going to target. But at the same time, if you notice when I went through and also added home ownership, excuse me, homeowners, that it broke it down to 15,000. Now I'm not saying that adding homeowners in there is what you wanna do or necessarily need to do. I was just doing it to change this up so that you can do this at the bottom, right? Instead of going and updating this and changing this original uh, de defined audience, I wanna save it as a new one. And then obviously according to what I did, I would just say still it's Reno 50 plus, more than 100K. Now what I did is I removed married, six years owners, homeowners. So now this is a whole new audience, right? So now when I go to utilize a saved audience, these people are already here. Right, so when you're running multiple campaigns and going through and adjusting different things and putting ads out there like we need to to get the leads in that we want, the qualified people that we're looking for, then obviously it just helps to be able to go through and say, Hey, I want this audience. Oh, uh, wait, you know what? I want that. You don't have to go through and do all these things down uh, in the option portion. So we will go to the next video and see you there.